Hello YouTube, PJ back at it again, taking a look at the latest release, Gravel for the PC. Now, Gravel's an Unreal Engine game, and I thought we'd go through all the options and settings that the game has to offer, and explore what can be done with the game, how good it looks, and also run a little bit of in-game footage showing some of the graphics presets. To try and give you an idea of how it may run on a system containing a GTX 1060, this is a 6 gigabyte version, it's the ROG version, so it is overclocked. Um, but yeah, should give you an idea. Let's, uh, let's dive straight into those options and uh, see what the game's got to offer. Okay, so starting at the top of the tree here, we've got HUD options. And we have, let's have a look. Unit lengths. Okay, miles, meters. We'll go with miles, yeah. Um, timing points on and off. I think these are all on and off, guys. Let's have a look. Speedometer, race length, map, opponents indicator. Is there any options there? No, just on and off on these ones. Good check. Position again on and off. Driver names on and off. And event notifications. Okay, nice and simple. Let's go back. You'll notice mouse keyboard at the moment, but if you pick up an Xbox One controller, uh, you can simply just move something and it will, as you can see, go straight to that. Not a problem. That's, uh, not had a go with the DS4, but um, seeing as Steam is native support, I wouldn't really thought that'd be an option be a problem if it is a problem drop it in the comments below and let me know uh, as I'm aware like I say I believe it does work with the DS4 so going on to audio options we have audio optimization okay do let's see if we support anything other than stereo then we have home theater very good TV or stereo Okay, that's not too bad because a lot of games lately have literally had no options for that, so um, that's good. We'll go with uh, home theatre there. Main volume. I have actually gone in and already dropped this down, obviously. Uh, vehicle volume, separately, race effects, menu music, race music, menu sound effect volume, and voice over. All from 0 to 100. Slide them up and down as you wish. Video options. Uh, being an Unreal Engine games, this should be uh, this should be quite tweakable and run pretty well. To be fair, default resolution there 1920 by 1080. As you can see, we're in ultra wide. I've currently got the black board, so let's see if we've got an option to go higher to fill that up. Mm. Okay, not looking good. We got we got 720p. I just saw that there. Okay, 900p. The common ones are there, but I'm not seeing any ultra wide support at the moment. Might be a case of doubling in the uni files and figuring out how to manually stretch and probably wreck it to be fair. In window off on, so I'm guessing that's just a window, borderless window or full screen option. So we've got on and then confirm. What's it going to do? Okay, so windowed option literally puts you in a Windows window so you can see the rest of your desktop. Um, not ideal really, so we'll leave it on this. Like I say, use it with ultra wide. Looks like you're going to have some fun tinkering around with this. It doesn't seem to natively support it, which is, in this day and age, quite surprising. Let's be fair, most games do support ultra wide. I mean, what was the last one I could think of? Maybe Dark Souls 3? Yeah, a bit rough that. V-Sync is on and off, not adaptive or anything like that. Nice and simple on and off. Anti-aliasing, what we've got here, we've got temporal, off, FX AA low, FX AA high, temporal AA low, AA high temporal, and off. Okay, so we default to the highest settings basically by the look of things. Anastropic filtering goes from 0 to 16. Simple as that. Okay, so... Uh, We've got all the options in the middle of them. We've got 0, 2, 4, 8, 16. Okay. So preset, we have gone straight to Ultra. Uh, CPU wise, we're in FX 8350 at 4.2. Yeah, it's getting on a little bit now, I know. But uh, with the prices of RAM and everything at the moment, it's sort of hang fire and see if anything drops in price. DDR4 is not cheap. And I don't expect it to drop anytime soon due to all the usage in smartphones and the demand for it. So that could hold a few guys back, like myself, you know, from going for Ryzen's, etc. We're really in the need of 3000 speed DDR4. Uh, quite a dear do. Anyway, we are going off topic. So we've got Ultra, Custom, Low, Medium, 
Hi. Okay, we, like I say, we've gone to, to Ultra. We'll go to Custom so we can tweak everything. Texture detail, highest preset being Ultra. I would imagine they're all going to be low, medium, high, Ultra. We'll see if there's any that are off. Okay, so texture detail, yeah, all the way through there. Ambient occlusion, high is the top setting. So it's off, low, medium, and high. We've got focal length, off, medium, high. Okay, no low setting. Uh, lens flare, we've got off, low, high. Again, no medium. Shadow quality, off, low, medium, high. Uh, motion effect, what we've got here? Off, low, medium, high. Yeah, no ultra, stops at high. Rain effects, on and off, simple as that. FPS, dynamic. Yeah, oh, I sounded that one. So we've got 30 lock. 60 lock, 90 lock, 120, and dynamic. Okay, for the first little vid we run the gameplay, I'll leave it on dynamic, but that doesn't sound good. I can't do a lot for frame pacing, we'll have to see, see how well it runs. Bloom quality, we have off, low, medium, high, very high, and ultra. Reflections, there we go, what we got? Off, low, medium, high, Oh, high is the top one. There is no very high or ultra, just high on reflections. Chromatic abbreviation, on and off. I don't know, see how bad it is. Some games it's disgusting. Uh, yeah, it's that like blue, yellowy haze you get around the edges and stuff. Um, it's meant to give it more pop. Whatever it does, I don't know. Leave it on. Foliage distance, we've got very distant. Or very near. Or near. Medium. Far. Or very distant. Foliage resolution, we've got ultra low, medium, high, that's ultra again. Particles, low, medium, high, ultra. What else have we got down here? Gamma correction, that's an easy one, and it? it goes from 5 to 10 and then back to 0, so we'll leave it at 5. No HDR, although this really is AAA release, so, you know, that's sort of fair enough, isn't it? Okay, so we'll leave all that. And let's get into game, see how it runs. I'll run some of the presets, so we do like the low one, yeah? See what you guys can get away with. Medium and then obviously ultra for your more high-end users, see how it runs. So, before we get into game, just quickly, we've got race options, yeah? So we've got car settings, etc. race options. Race options, we have the AI difficulty. We got easy, very easy, and very hard, medium, hard. Yeah. We'll go very easy just to try it out. <clears throat> what else have we got? Um, laps, yeah, one weather clear. That's all locked, so it's probably an unlock as you go along with the game. I don't know. Braking help on and off. We do not need that, really. Auto brakes. It's going to drive for you guys, this is going to be horrible, it's like going to be like Forza where it steers and brakes for you, that's, that's no good. So, TCS, traction control system there, we've got full, high, medium, low, low. Stability help, full, medium, off. Transmission, semi-automatic, sequential, manual. Oh, there's just the two options there. Okay, no full auto then. Ideal trajectory, none, only on corners, complete. See what it looks like, put it only on corners so we can have a quick look at it. Damage, cosmetic only, active, that's it, just those two. Okay, that's fine. Um, car settings, here we go, front suspension. Loads of stuff to faff with. We'll leave it default because, like I say, I'm not really going into playing the game itself. I'm sure there's plenty of YouTube videos showing loads of gameplay on this game. I just want to cover all the options that are available in the game just in case that's useful to anyone. Okay, and what else? We've got rear suspension. There's quite a tweak ability there, isn't there? Transmission differentials, as you would expect. Alignment. There you go. Feel free to pause the video to have a look at any of these menus, of course. As soon as I'm zipping through. 
Sure, so we start racing, guys. Let's pick up a controller. And uh, I can't do racing games on a, on a keyboard. Don't know about you. There are even it just doesn't more work in the to title me. Hunt this year. Perhaps I don't know. There's even a new yeah, sure, you're saying steering wheel. Yeah. I had a steering wheel. Now we're getting serious. Didn't use it enough. Okay, this this looks dated. Uh, you, fair enough, you know, it's more of a double A game than a triple A game. Um, what we got? A is handbrake, I think. Okay, I'm, I'm immediately thinking because we're driving along the beach falls at Horizon 3 and that's a very unfair thing to compare it to. I'm sure their budget was way bigger than these guys have. This reminds me of an old school racer. Um, you yeah, know, back in the day sort of thing, sort of arcades. It's not a simulation by any mark. It, it very much is an arcade racer. The graphics look like a dated arcade machine. What that means it might be scalable. This is running. Oh no, I'm being in a bong in there. Let's have a quick look at something. See, I, well, I guess this is running now. Let's pause it. Okay, so looking at this, we have got a locked 60. It keeps going 61, 59, 60. Um, definitely fully locked 60 FPS. I've noticed a little bit of streaming issues every now and again, once in a blue moon, but it's installed on a normal hard drive, not an SSD. I wouldn't have been a game like this, it needs to be on that, an SSD, to be honest with you. It's not exactly a huge download. Um, yeah, easy 60, and that's fully maxed. Shame we can't bump the res any higher. I've not plugged this in on a 4K TV, but I don't think it's going to look super to be fair. Yeah, it does look dated. It plays well. So it's quite fun actually, it's, uh, it's very arcadey, you know, it's not like um, Dirt Rally or such like, it, it is arcade fully, it plays very much like Forza Horizon to be honest, you could have some fun playing it without taking it too seriously, I think that's the, the sort of angle I'm looking at, just smashing the button, right. right let's drop this all the way down from ultra to low, or very low to the and see what it looks like, okay, now bear in mind I've got this on the really easy setting so, you know, it's going to look that way, isn't it? Let's go... Options. Preset. Okay, low. We'll go fully low, yeah? Which, as you can see, um, everything is off, pretty much. Resolution stays on dynamic. Uh, yeah, let's do it. That's low. There we go. I think we... The dynamic FPS has locked it to 60, it's stuck at 61, let's just um, unlock it, let's take the dynamic off and see what it will run up to. So where's that dynamic FPS, we don't want it, dynamic v-sync, here we go, let's turn that off. Anything else? Yeah, that'll do. I'm just looking at a tree, that's no good place for testing FPS. I kept my eye on the road when I was going to the menu. I am really stuck. Can we press and hold and move? Guys, I'm stuck. Oh my word. Restart. Free cam? Oh, we got a free cam. Like a photo mode? Oh, we'll have, to, we'll have to have a quick look at that. Okay, star race. So this is low, yeah? There are um, even more drivers in skip. Yes. 85 to 90 average is what we're getting on the road. Um, I thought I'd do the start of the race because obviously A are stuck in a tree and B it gives you the maximum number of stuff on screen at once to try and stress it a little bit. As we're overtaking the cars now, we're on 95, 100 FPS. Um, yeah, so not, it's not a stressful game, is it? 108, 110. Okay, so I had a, a little hiccup, guys. I've had to restart the race. Uh, it just locked up. So we've restarted the race from here. We're still on uh, low settings, as you can see. FPS, like I was saying, sort of 90s to 100 as you overtake the cars here. It's going to shoot right up. Yeah, no problem there. But yeah, we did have one lock up. It completely locked up. It hard locked. Uh, no idea why. I didn't seem to find a crash report for it very odd. Um, so anyway, we're back and racing away. So 
what I'm going to do now is change it up to medium. Yeah, uh, so like I say, we're on, we're on low settings at the moment. So we're hovering around the 80 90 FPS margin. So we'll go up to medium. I don't want to get stuck in a tree. Right, okay, so game options, uh, video, and we'll go down to my mistake. So we reloaded the game after the crash, and like I say, it was on low. Reloading the game has automatically put it back to ultra, where it auto detects. So it clearly didn't save the settings before the crash. Okay. So that was ultra. Shows how much you know you can tell with the graphics. Like I say, they are a bit murky, shall we say? Let's go down to low. There we go. Confirm. And back. There's low, supposedly. Is it? I guess so. FPS is still 90s. So not quite right here. I mean, I'm using two different FPS readouts on this one. I've got the MSI one and I've got the NVIDIA GeForce one. And they're both concurring, so some of this when we're changing the presets. I'm not sure if we've got a bug in this game regarding presets swapping around in game or, or reloading the game maybe. Okay, let's just turn on the other list for you guys to have a look at. There we go. So we can see our usage easy enough, and it's not, not stressing anything in the slightest. Um, it is using all eight cores, so uh, it's pretty well multi threaded. But changing from low to ultra, seeing that much and the dirt's a little bit. Let's have a quick look, make sure that did kick in, yeah? So, video options, here we go. Yep, preset is low, everything is off. Let's go to medium, confirm that. There we go. Yep, go. As medium. Yeah, the dirt looks a little bit better, doesn't it? So, FPS, what, 85, 90? Yeah, we're staying around the 90s, 95, uh, 88 at its lowest. We keep moving around to look round something, see my FPS counter. That's the only trouble when you're running all these little windows. You've got to put it somewhere and still be able to play the game without it obscuring. Okay, so let's go back into Ultra and we will check out this photo mode free cam. I'm not sure the game is up to photo mode, but hey, you know. It's, uh, it's more of a playable game than a looking game, which I suppose is a good thing because everybody concentrates on graphics nowadays. Okay, so there's Max again, and we're back to 80 FPS sort of region. Right, so free cam. There we go. I rather battered car. Yeah, it's just your basic. I'm not sure I'd want to use this free cam in all honesty. It's okay, but. It's not bad. It's there, isn't it? It's there. So, oh, we got effects. Oh, we got all sorts of stuff there. But guys, that is gravel in a nutshell. Like I say, I only set out to show you the options and settings menu. Really, I've chucked in a bit of gameplay so you can hopefully see how it runs on this sort of spec system. Um, give you an idea. Yeah. If this video has any help at all to you, without laughing at my driving standards, please click like and thanks a lot for watching. See you again.